chill Full focus Okay, so I know y'all wondering who is Mir Amal Kanzi and he is from Quetta, Pakistan. He was born in February on February 10th, 1964. He was known for the killings of two CIA employees and he wounded another three in that same shooting and his criminal status was capital punishment for doing this this was considered a terrorist act behind what he did they he was on the run he fled to kandahar afghanistan he was on the run for about four years over there before the fbi um did some investigation and some work through some informants and they tracked him down. I learned about Mir Amal Kanzi through the FBI files from time to time I watched that and I was like man his story is interesting how he was able to shoot these CIA murder these CIA employees and flee the country and what's so crazy is is that when they um searched his apartment he had a lot of weapons in his apartment this shooting happened in langley virginia with the cia um employees being killed he was killed in november 14th 2002 at uh greensville correctional center in virginia where he had served um I believe a six year sentence and he was given the lethal injection and um his charges once again was capital murder first degree murder malicious wounding it was you know definitely considered a terrorist act this story is 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 very interesting that's why i did i decided to do a profile on it you know this is like early in the 90s, you know, 1993, early uh, extreme extremist attack, radical attacks on United States citizens. So I find I found it real uh, interesting to cover this, you know, and his roommate was saying how he was he was so upset what was going on, you know, with people in his country. And you know the United States uh, Army killing people in his country and mistreating people in his country. It really uh, got him into a, like a jealous rage, you know. So this is what led up to the attack of. I'm Mirwais Kasi. On behalf of my family and clan, strongly condemn the killings of four innocent U.S. citizens in Karachi. This barbarous act has been carried out by hidden forces which are not only in human and, and needs to be condemned by the whole humanity. Widespread speculation by irresponsible persons in media linking it to Mir Emal Kasi and Kasi clan in an attempt to denying Mir Emal Kasi a fair chance of justice. These speculations are an attempt to prejudice the jury court and the American public. That the judge consider the same evidence the jury did and the judge must make an independent decision uh, that the penalty is the proper penalty. I'm sure this judge will do that and uh, we'll wait and see what happens on January 23rd. Sorry. 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 Sorry.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. In particular, want to thank the Fairfax County Police Department, the FBI, uh, the police helicopter paramedics. Uh, if they hadn't been there, I wouldn't be here today. They are literally, I literally owe my life to them. Praise God is all I can say. We, the Becker Darling families, are grateful to God and elated that after five long years, justice is finally served. I want to personally recognize and thank my sister-in-law, Judy, who is relentless in her pursuit to see good come from this tragedy. Among other initiatives, she lobbied Congress to keep assault rifles off of the street and lobbied Congress to write strong anti-terrorism legislation. Father of Judy Beck and Darling. Great. Thank you. I think it is apparent that, that the prosecution was excellent, but I think in the interest of world peace, it is important to realize that the defense was also excellent and that they missed no opportunity to give Mr. Kazi, to assure Mr. Kazi a fair trial. I observed the defense carefully when I was in the courtroom and they treated him with the utmost respect and courtesy and he was given every consideration that an American citizen would have been given. About a year after Judy's and my husband, Judy and my husband died, Judy planted a peace pole at their memorial. And I think that, that, that the peace pole was inscribed in many different languages. And I think that we must all band together and start from a, a, a stand, standpoint of peace and stop.